Don't get overtaken. Well, that sounds easy enough. You just got to stay in the front. Well, it's not necessarily that easy, especially when you have a car with a high rate of acceleration and a high top speed like the Porsche to my left that you're about to see. Here you go up to block him and that can happen. I'm not going to show you any more of those. There are so many. So you got to go up to the left, block a little bit, and then also try to get him to go to the right because there's another Porsche. And uh, I'll show you the rear view mirror here in a second. There you go. So right now the cl club sport is going to be the only one. I think it's a club sport. That's going to be my only problem going forward. Um, you might have him really heavy on your tail here. I had it quite a lot. One very important lesson in blocking is you have to know where the bots want to drive. So when you're trying to block someone, you need to drive in the, li in the line they want to drive in. Now, it said no off track. I found out that that's not entirely true. You're allowed about a whole second of off track. Now, a whole second doesn't sound like much, but it is an awful lot when you're making a little mistake here and a little mistake there. It doesn't show you how much off track you've used, but I found in my tests that I could go off track a tiny bit here and there, but there was definitely a point where you could not go off track anymore. So there is a bit of grace, um, not enough to do a big cut, but there's enough that if you make a small mistake and get back on track right away, you're okay. Now, as you can see, he's catching up to me pretty fast. Uh, that, that car is no slouch behind me. So I've got to be really careful. I've got to drive hard, but not too sloppy, or he's just going to be on me. And he, of course, because I'm at below than recommended PR, lower than what's recommended, he's going to be faster. So he's not necessarily driving like a fully upgraded car, but man, that guy's driving fast. And I can't go dump speed off track if I get this corner wrong because I'm going to lose the stage. So I took that a little bit cautious, but not overly. But that's a nice lead. And I know that I can take Eau Rouge and Radion here very well. Let's see if he's... No, I actually increased my lead on him there. That's great. All right, so it's looking good. Um, this was very hard. Uh, I did a lot of trial and error to make it through this stage. Um, some of you may find it easier. Could depend how aggressive your bots, bots are. My guy was really aggressive, sometimes pushing me very hard down that first straight after the very first right-hand corner. And oftentimes he would catch me here, so I had to learn to take this a little bit better. Start braking right at that yellow and red thing. Right when it starts is when I'm on the brakes. And then you could stay full throttle through this, but don't worry about lifting a little bit if you have to. Again, I've got all tier one upgrades. Um, everything after this was gold. All tier two upgrades are gold. It's only day three and we have not seen an event at Le Mans yet. So you could pretty well guarantee we're going to be spending gold. Because uh, when you get to Le Mans, there's going to be some type of a speed event. There's got to be something. There almost always is. So I really don't think this is going to be an R only car. But so far, there you go. So he's catching up to me again, just like he did on the last lap. I'm doing good. It said I have to win by no more than a certain amount, so I'll make it really tight. All right, there we go. Stay tuned for the next stage.